Welcome back to Door King Tech Tips. Today we will be exploring the resident elevator settings. This will cover the settings needed for the resident to operate the elevator. To get started, open your account folder by clicking the plus sign next to your account on the left. Then click on resident to open up the resident screen. We will be breaking down the four columns in the resident screen that deal with elevators. These columns are the SL column, which stands for security level, the device number column, which is the resident's input card or code, the FL column, which stands for floor, and the last column, ER, which stands for elevator reference. The first column that we will be looking at is the SL column. The important thing to note about this column is the security level must be in O2 or higher. In our example, the residents have different security levels. This does not mean that they can't have the same security level. The security level only tells us what doors, gates, and floors the resident has access to on a certain day and time. To configure and look at your security level settings, you can click on the SEC level icon in the top toolbar here. Please see our other videos on elevator security levels for these settings. The next column we'll be looking at is the device number column. The device number is the resident card, fob, or code that they would need to enter or present to a card reader or keypad in the elevator. The device number can be found on the back of a remote as a TR number, on cards and fobs typically as the last five digits, or made up as a keypad entry. The highest device number that our system will read is 65405, so keep this in mind if using a keypad. Moving on to the FL floor column now. This column has a lot of function when using elevators. The floor number doesn't just let us know what floor the resident lives on, it is also used when a visitor uses the call box to call a resident and the resident grants access to the building. The visitor will have access to the resident's floor for a pre-programmed time. There is also another feature in your 30 series control board that is turned on by default. This is the star 75 elevator control feature. This feature authorizes floor access to the floor level the resident lives on and to the floors in the security level screen for the resident security level. The last column we will be looking at is the ER column. The elevator reference column deals with the visitor's access. The number here is defined in the elevator reference table and lets us know what elevator and how long the visitor will have to push the residence button in the elevator. Please see our other elevator video how-to's here and we'll see you next time for more Door King Tech Tips.